talking about spring temperatures, how about starting your spring cleaning early? Uh, and something you may not consider is furniture. If you're not using it, it's a great time to get rid of it. We all have, how many pieces do we all have that has have so much life left in them, right? Uh, let's get out to Kim DiGiulio, who's showing us what we all can do with that old furniture, Kim. That's right. Good morning, guys. So we are live this morning in Pontiac at the uh, Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. And as you can see, I am surrounded by gorgeous pieces of furniture, a little bit of every style here. And these, as I mentioned, are pre-loved, but they have been donated. And th these pieces of furniture, we've got couches. Um, you can see here in the distance, we've got the uh, dressers, mattresses. They're all going to families uh, that are transitioning out of homeless or getting out of very difficult situations. They've just bought a home and now they need to furnish it and now they can have great couches like this one in their new home. I have a couch, a dresser, an end table, a couple lamps, there are even dishes. It's a transitioning period for Cara Stover. Last year she was homeless, but she just got into her new home. Now she's picking out furniture. I already know how I want it set up in my, in my house. I already have the spot for it. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see the reaction on my kids' faces when they finally see it and come home and plow down on it. This furniture was all donated to the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan, and it still has plenty of life in it. Cara is already envisioning a cozy family night, cuddled up on one of these couches. We're going to have such great fun getting our little snacks together and picking out what, arguing over what movie we want to watch. <laughs> Cara is one of the thousands of people who benefit from the services that the Furniture Bank provides. Last year we helped 2,000 families, more than 2,000 families. We distributed 18,000 items valued at over a million dollars. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of need. Executive Director Rob Boyle has worked here for 15 years, helping thousands of people transition from homelessness or fleeing from crisis or abuse. I've heard many stories from, you know, folks who have been in homeless shelters, and they're very, very excited to get into their new home. But when they get in it, if they don't have furniture and they're sleeping on a floor or their kids are sleeping on a floor or they don't have a table to share a meal on, they found that they, they're more comfortable in the shelter than they were now in their own home. Cara is one of those people. It's been moments where we were in our room. We just, where we all gather up in my room <laughs> because we didn't have something as simple as a dining room table to come gather around and have our meal and talk about our day. So, oh yeah, but I like how you improvise. Mm -hmm. That is very cool, very <laughs> cool. But I'm happy you got your dinner. Tomorrow. Right. <laughs> but now, thanks to all of these donations, Cara's family can sit together at a dinner table or in the living room, and her children have a place to put their clothes and a bed to sleep on at night. I mean, it looks real nice. You can't tell majority of it is even really used. So yeah. it actually, you feel like you've come from a furniture store and you get to sit down and you're like, my home is complete now, I can exhale. <laughs> and that, how important is it to have a, a home where you can exhale and you're proud of like exactly. this fully furnished home? Yes, because you walk in and you, it's not an empty, I mean, having a home is a blessing. When you walk in and there's nothing there, it's still kind of empty, you know? Oh, and we certainly wouldn't want a woman like Kara and her family to have an empty home. So all of this furniture uh, goes to people like Kara. And this is good stuff. I mean, take a look. It's a dresser sideways right now. But stuff like this uh, can go into homes like Kara's. And as I mentioned, we are in Pontiac. But they will come pick up your furniture um, anywhere. Wayne, Oakland, Macomb County. And again, uh, so if you leave it outside, they'll come pick it up for free. If you want them to come into your home, they'll pick the furniture up for starting at $75. So it's a really great deal, especially if you're looking to get rid of furniture. Uh, another very important thing here is uh, they accept lightly used mattresses. A lot of furniture places uh, don't accept uh, mattresses, but again, a lot of people looking for beds as they are furnishing their home. So if you are interested in giving um, some furniture to all of these families who certainly deserve a nice home that is furnished, furniture dash 
bank.org that is how you contact them and they will come pick up your pre-loved furniture and as you can see it goes to a great yeah. cause so Aww. reporting live in Pontiac this morning I'm Kim DeGiulio back to you guys and Matt